Harris Faulkner is the host of Outnumbered Overtime on Fox News Channel. Great to see you, Congressman. We have some news from within our Fox family. His last show was this past Friday. And starting tonight, Fox News Tonight will air live at 8 p.m. Eastern. It will be an interim show with rotating Fox News personalities until a new host is named. Harris Faulkner recently left Fox News, stunning audiences who have come to know her as a prominent figure in journalism. Uh, the role of a journalist and sources. It has long been the case that you can just call them sources, but the question now is, how many sh sources should you have when you're talking about really important things today? And do you think they should be named? So here's my deal. No, I don't think that you should name all your sources. I mean, journalists have gone to prison. With six Emmy Awards under her belt and a reputation for hard-hitting interviews. Who has demonstrated excellence in both broadcast television in the broadcast television industry. This year's recipient of the Television Broadcast Award presented by Bloomberg is Fox News anchor Harris Faulkner, also another Californian. Her departure raises many questions about what the future holds for her. Fans and colleagues alike are buzzing with curiosity, speculating on her next steps in the world of media. Will this move lead her to new and exciting opportunities? The reasons behind her surprising decision may reveal more than what meets the eye. Born into a military family, Faulkner's journey from a small town to becoming a well-respected news anchor is nothing short of remarkable. News anchor Harris Faulkner pays tribute to her father, a lieutenant colonel who served in Vietnam, in her book, Nine Rules of Engagement. Her early experiences shaped her perspective on life and work providing a solid foundation for her career. With her military background and dedication to journalism, Faulkner's departure from Fox News signals not just a career shift, but possibly the start of a new chapter filled with possibilities. What's next for this dynamic personality? The story is just beginning. From small town to Fox News, Harris Faulkner was born on October 13, 1965, at Fort McPherson in Atlanta, Georgia. Her childhood was influenced by her father, Bobby R. Harris, a retired lieutenant colonel and pilot in the United States Army. His brave service, which included three tours in Vietnam, instilled in Faulkner a deep respect for the military. Growing up as a military kid, she moved frequently, even spending time at a military base in Stuttgart, West Germany. This constant change shaped her outlook on life and taught her the importance of adaptability. Faulkner's educational journey led her to the University of California, Santa Barbara, where she earned a Bachelor of Arts in Mass Communications. This degree laid the foundation for her career in media. Hello and welcome to Fox News Tonight. I'm Harris Faulkner. Suddenly the nation is witnessing something we haven't seen before. Starting out as a freelance journalist for LA Weekly, she earned just $50 per article. Despite the modest pay, she was determined to make a name for herself in the competitive world of journalism. Her first significant break in television came when she interned at KCOP TV in Los Angeles. This experience quickly transformed into a full-time position as a reporter and anchor at WNCT-TV in Greenville, North Carolina. Faulkner soon became a familiar face in Kansas City, anchoring the evening news for WDAF-TV from 1992 to 2000. However, her journey was not without challenges. During her time in Kansas City, she faced unsettling advances from someone she had known back in North Carolina. Instead of letting this stop her, Faulkner pushed through, determined to succeed. After her stint in Kansas City, Faulkner joined KSTP-TV in Minneapolis, St. Paul as a key member of their evening news team. By July 2004, she had built a solid reputation, which led her to Fox News in 2005. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, and this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and the set of Fox News went off the rails during a Kamala, uh, no, sorry, not a Kamala Harris, but a Harris Faulkner segment. Miss Faulkner, I'm so sorry. At Fox News, Faulkner's career really took off. She began as a correspondent for the revamped version of A Current Affair and quickly became known for her sharp reporting skills. Her time at Fox News included hosting Fox Report Weekend from 2011 to 2017, covering major events like the midterm elections in 2018, and filling in for other prominent anchors. 
This is Outnumbered Overtime. I'm Harris Faulkner. I had the chance to meet with the president in Dallas, Texas for a wide ranging conversation on a host of issues. Faulkner also gained recognition on the late night show Red Eye and became a familiar face on Gutfeld and The Five. Her dynamic presence brought energy and insight to every program she joined. In April 2014, Faulkner began co-hosting Outnumbered, a daytime program that showcased diverse viewpoints on current events. She later transitioned to Outnumbered Overtime in 2017, focusing on more in-depth news coverage. Her unique style and perspective made her a standout among her peers, further establishing her reputation as a leading journalist. In June 2023, Faulkner temporarily hosted Fox News Tonight after Tucker Carlson's exit. Now to new details about Tucker Carlson's departure from Fox News and text messages that might have led to his exit. Where she made powerful statements about social issues and expressed her concerns for the safety of women and children. Her involvement in the show demonstrated her ability to tackle serious topics with both grace and authority. Recognition and awards. Throughout her career, Faulkner has received numerous accolades. While at ABC's KSTP, she earned four regional Emmy Awards and was named Best Anchor for three consecutive years. She also received an Emmy for her participation in the news special Eyewitness to War. In 1998, she was awarded the Amelia Earhart Pioneering Lifetime Achievement Award for her humanitarian work. Her exemplary journalism was recognized in Variety's 2021 New York Women's Impact Report, particularly for her poignant interview with former President Donald Trump in 2020. Breaking tonight, as we mentioned, my colleague Harris Faulkner sat down with President Trump uh, just moments ago, wrapping that interview up in Dallas. We hope to speak to her at the other side of taking a listen to just a piece of this. Following George Floyd's death. Beyond her professional achievements, Faulkner has begun to share more about her personal life, revealing the influence of her military upbringing on her character and work. The life-changing Vietnam mission. In a recent interview within Kansas City, Faulkner discussed her military upbringing and the impact it had on her life. One pivotal moment she shared was her significant trip to Vietnam, which she referred to as a divine assignment. This journey was not just a professional opportunity, but also a personal one, reflecting her father's military service and the lessons he instilled in her. Along with a dedicated team from Fox Nation, Faulkner traveled to Vietnam with the aim of honoring Vietnam veterans and exploring the complex history surrounding the war. She highlighted how veterans from other conflicts are often celebrated, while those returning from Vietnam faced challenges and misunderstandings. Faulkner's mission was to shed light on these issues and bring awareness to the sacrifices made by these brave individuals. Her curiosity about Vietnam stemmed from her father's experiences and the stories he shared. My dad had a very close call in Vung Tau. He was flying back to base and the enemy were firing over his plane and he needed help. An angel came into that mission. The trip in 2023 was an extension of her commitment to understanding her heritage and acknowledging the complicated legacies of the Vietnam War. Growing up in a military household deeply influenced her views, teaching her the importance of resilience, adaptability, and patriotism. Faulkner's father had a significant impact on her understanding of service and duty. He believed that it was essential for black individuals to step forward for their nation when called upon, especially during times of racial tension. His commitment to his role and his unwavering faith in American values profoundly shaped Faulkner's perspective on national pride and respect for those who serve. Growing up in a military family, growing up in a military household instilled qualities like flexibility and resilience in Faulkner. Being a military child, often called a brat, born, raised, and transferred, taught her to appreciate her country. She's here as a news anchor and somebody who can talk about a lot of things in the news, but she's also here today as an author and I would say maybe a life coach. Uh, if you haven't picked up her book yet, it just came out last week. It's called a military, well, Nine Rules of Engagement, A Military Brat's Guide to Life and Success. She often shares stories about her father's dedication to his service and his belief in American values. His commitment deeply influenced her views on national pride 
and respect for those who serve. Faulkner's father passed away on Christmas morning in 2020, which added a poignant layer to her holiday memories. He was a joyful man who faced life's challenges with positivity. After retiring, he dedicated his life to teaching and mentoring youth, which left a lasting impression on Faulkner. She finds solace in remembering him as a guiding light in her life, her faith, and her work. Throughout her career, Faulkner has maintained a strong connection to her faith. In interviews, she has expressed the importance of spirituality in her life and how it has guided her through both personal and professional challenges. Balancing her responsibilities as a mother of two biracial daughters with her demanding career has not always been easy, but her determination to be a positive role model remains a driving force. Faulkner's desire to be remembered as a loving and devoted mother speaks volumes about her values. She aims to instill in her daughters the belief that compassion and kindness are strengths. In a world that often emphasizes competition, Faulkner believes in the power of empathy and the importance of lifting others up. Her leadership style is characterized by resilience and assertiveness. Faulkner has faced criticism for her straightforward approach, but she sees overcoming these challenges as essential for growth. In today's world, where expectations for women are shifting, she emphasizes the importance of embracing one's power and breaking down barriers. One particularly emotional moment in her career was during the coverage of the Sandy Hook shooting. Faulkner vividly recalls the arrival of a hearse at the scene. Box Urgent State Police in Connecticut have just released thousands of pages of documents from their investigation into the massacre at Sandy Hook Elementary. This is obviously a very sensitive story. And prompting her to take a moment of reflection with her viewers. This was a poignant reminder of the responsibility that comes with delivering heartbreaking news. Faulkner's impactful interview with former President Donald Trump in 2020 highlighted her commitment to honest and raw dialogue. During the interview, she skillfully navigated a sensitive discussion about the protests following George Floyd's death, emphasizing the importance of truth in journalism. The impact of her departure. Harris Faulkner's decision to leave Fox News has left viewers wondering about her future plans. Her exit marks the end of a significant chapter in her career, but it also opens the door for new opportunities. Fans and colleagues are eager to see what she will do next and how her departure will affect the programming at Fox News. Faulkner's presence on Outnumbered has been pivotal, driving the show's success with her engaging discussions and insightful analyses. The show will now need to adapt to her absence, potentially altering its format or host lineup to maintain viewer interest. Throughout her time at Fox News, Faulkner received numerous accolades, including six Emmy Awards, recognizing her excellence in journalism. Her dedication to inspiring others is evident in her personal mission to uplift and empower those around her. Despite being a prominent figure in the industry, Faulkner remains humble and acknowledges the influence of those who have shaped her life and career. From her family to iconic figures like Oprah Winfrey and Diane Sawyer, she credits these individuals for guiding her journey. The future of Faulkner's career. Harris. Faulkner's decision to leave Fox News has sparked curiosity and speculation about her next steps. Viewers of Outnumbered wonder what this change means for the show and its future. Faulkner's departure is a significant loss for the program, as her engaging discussions and insightful analyses were vital to its success. The show's format may need to adapt in response to this change, potentially altering its host lineup. As Faulkner transitions away from Fox News, her journalism career remains marked by notable achievements, including six Emmy Awards and her extensive coverage of critical events. Her connection to Kansas City. Faulkner has a deep-rooted connection to Kansas City, where she spent formative years in her broadcasting career. This city is not just a place on the map for her. It represents home, community, and the foundation of her professional success. Her love for Kansas City extends beyond work, as she proudly supports the Kansas City Chiefs. In light-hearted moments, she has shared funny stories about her family, 
including her husband's sports memorabilia collection. These anecdotes illustrate her genuine personality and the love she has for her family and community. Personal Connections and Achievements Despite her prominence, some aspects of Faulkner's journey may still be lesser known. She made history at Fox News as the first black woman to anchor a daytime show, breaking barriers in the industry. Her Midwest roots played a significant role in shaping her career and personal life. Faulkner often shares her love for Kansas City, reflecting on her early days there. She is a passionate Chiefs fan, proudly wearing their colors on game days. Her connection to the Midwest is evident in her work, and she continues to embrace her heritage. Memorable Moments and Experiences Harris Faulkner has shared numerous memorable experiences, including singing the Star Spangled Banner in front of a large audience at Arrowhead Stadium. This moment was unforgettable for her, showcasing her deep connection to her roots. She often sings along to the national anthem, regardless of where she is. Faulkner has also been humorously portrayed on Saturday Night Live, where Leslie Jones captured her spirit in a comedy sketch. Faulkner appreciated the tribute, highlighting how it felt surreal to be portrayed in such a fun way. However, she has also faced challenges, such as suing Hasbro for using her name without permission for a toy. A Fox News anchor is suing a toy company for using her likeness for a toy hamster. Fan reactions and industry impact. As news of Harris Faulkner's departure from Fox News broke, fans and viewers flocked to social media platforms, their reactions a blend of shock, sadness, and support. Many expressed their disbelief at the news, sharing heartfelt messages about how much they appreciated her dedication to journalism. Viewers reminisced about specific moments from her broadcasts that resonated with them, highlighting her ability to address complex issues with empathy and clarity. The depth of these reactions underscores a vital aspect of modern media, the profound connection that audiences form with their favorite anchors. Harris's unique presence made her a trusted figure for many, and her departure signifies a loss that goes beyond just her on-screen role. In an age where media can feel increasingly fragmented and polarized, figures like Faulkner provide a sense of continuity and reliability. Her exit may spark conversations around viewer loyalty, raising questions about how networks can maintain audience trust amidst personnel changes. Moreover, the impact of her departure extends to the broader media industry. It highlights the challenges news organizations face in retaining talented journalists who resonate with viewers. As discussions about media integrity and accountability continue to grow, Harris's exit may encourage networks to reflect on their programming strategies and the anchors they choose to represent their brand. Harris Faulkner's Legacy Harris Faulkner leaves behind a remarkable legacy at Fox News, one that transcends her role as a journalist. Throughout her career, she has been more than just a news anchor. She has served as a trailblazer for many, particularly women of color seeking to break into a traditionally male-dominated field. Her achievements are a testament to hard work, resilience, and the belief that diverse voices are essential in journalism. Faulkner's journey reflects the importance of representation, showing aspiring journalists that they can achieve their dreams regardless of the barriers they may face. She has not only set high standards for journalistic excellence, but also inspired a new generation to pursue careers in media. Harris's approach to storytelling, thoughtful, insightful, and often deeply personal, has made her a role model for those looking to make their mark in the industry. As we look back on her contributions, it's clear that her influence will endure. Many of her colleagues and fans will continue to champion the values she embodied. Integrity, hard work, and the courage to speak out on important issues. By the way, NABJ promised, it, it came out in all of its language, that this was a journalism event and that this was not politics. Her legacy serves as a reminder that journalism is not just about reporting facts. It's about connecting with people and making a difference in their lives. Future plans for Faulkner. 
While Harris Faulkner's future plans remain largely under wraps, speculation is rife regarding what her next chapter might entail. Some industry insiders suggest that she may explore opportunities in new media, perhaps launching her own platform that allows for more in-depth storytelling and engagement with her audience. This could provide her with the creative freedom to explore topics that matter most to her and her viewers, enabling her to continue her mission of informing and inspiring. Others speculate that she might venture into different genres, such as documentary filmmaking or podcasting, where her storytelling skills could shine even brighter. Given her extensive experience and knowledge, Harris could easily transition into producing content that highlights underreported stories or explores significant social issues. No matter where her journey takes her, one thing is certain. Her fans will be closely watching and supporting her every step of the way. The loyalty she has cultivated over the years ensures that her audience will follow her to whatever platform she chooses next. Harris Faulkner's departure from Fox News may mark the end of one chapter, but it undoubtedly sets the stage for exciting new beginnings. As we wrap up this discussion on Harris Faulkner's unexpected departure from Fox News, it's clear that her impact on journalism and her loyal audience will resonate for years to come. Whether you're a longtime fan or new to her work, Harris has always brought passion and integrity to her reporting. While we may not know what the future holds for her, one thing is certain, her journey is far from over. We're eager to see where she goes next and what new stories she will tell. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into the media world. What are your thoughts on Harris's move? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Prince Harry's highly anticipated tell-all memoir, Spare, it has officially hit bookstores nationwide. The Duke of Sussex recounts decades' worth of personal struggles and royal family tensions. Ever wondered what might ignite a royal showdown for the ages? Imagine a situation in which Kate Middleton, ever gracious, the Duchess of Cambridge, does something really outrageous that sends shockwaves right to the roots of the British monarchy. What if this was something involving Queen Camilla, the Queen Consort, and wholly connected with the contentious figure of Prince Harry? In this video, we show you the drama that went on behind closed doors that made Kate Middleton take over Queen Camilla's position in the royal family. It is not a catfight, but a seismic shift in the royal dynamics that might just alter the course of the future of the British monarchy. Be ready to go deep into the twisted web of royal politics and the personal rivalries with some unexpected twists that set up the stage for this monumental showdown. Whether a keen royal watcher or not, this story will bring new light to the power plays and tensions beneath what often appears to be quite calm waters within one of the world's most famous families. Join us as we delve into the truth about Kate's explosive move and its wide-ranging ramifications throughout the royal family and well beyond. It's time for The Royal Drama Unfolds, Kate Middleton vs. Queen Camilla. With tensions within the British monarchy continuing to rise, all eyes are on an unexpected conflict between the two most prominent figures, Kate Middleton, the Duchess of Cambridge, and Queen Camilla, the Queen Consort. What began as a rather insignificant disagreement developed into a very dramatic standoff which may change the dynamics of the royal family forever. It's also traced back to Prince Harry, who has been the source of much speculation in the involvement of this family since his overtly complicated feelings toward the monarchy have been under a microscope for years. Kate Middleton's recent moves seem calculated and enacted in order to reposition herself within the royal pecking order. Her relationships with Queen Camilla are slowly becoming tense, which would signal problems at a deeper level. This becomes a daunting challenge for Queen Camilla amidst growing tension as Queen Consort. Camilla, long since the target of media scrutiny and public blame, places herself at the center of one of the most significant power struggles. She has waded into these treacherous waters with every move to carve out her role ramping up the competition with Kate Middleton and highlighting the multi-dimensional nature of their relationship. Furthermore, the media have continuously fanned the flames of this skirmish, 
Sensational headlines and dramatic storytelling have increased the din of conflict and framed coverage as a winner-take-all battle for royal supremacy. As a result, this has piqued public interest, with Kate and Camilla being under greater scrutiny not only over their actions, but also over subsequent strategies and public personas. The involvement of Prince Harry further complicated things. Ongoing friction with the royals and statements he has made, very much in the public eye lately, have extended the shadow over relations between Kate and Camilla. Kate Middleton and Queen Camilla have known each other for years, to assume that the two have secrets. Before this controversial backdrop, the feud has grown to be at the top of royal conversations and speculations. The repercussions of this confrontation will flow beyond the parties concerned. This tussle has promoted reassessment of roles and relationships within the royal household. Since the future of the monarchy may well be at stake, resolution to this conflict could have far-reaching effects on the very institution and its acceptance by the people of the land. Hence, until the play is acted out, attention shall lie in how this internal fight would affect the overall account of the British monarchy family. The tussle between Kate Middleton and Queen Camilla becomes a manifestation not only of personal interests, but also of the shifting contours of royal authority and influence in modern times. Origins of the Feud, The Prince, Harry Angle The growing battle between Kate Middleton and Queen Camilla has been haunted by the ghost of Prince Harry, thereby forming a complex backdrop to their fight. Harry's ghostwriter for his memoir released an essay about what it was like to work with Harry. Prince Harry has long been at loggerheads with the royals, and he continues to go out of his way to make things even worse. His public statements pointing out what is wrong and high-profile departures from royal duties have served to strain family bonds and have affected the ongoing conflict between Kate and Camilla in profound ways. It started with Prince Harry leaving the royals. He stepped back from official duties and made public critiques against the traditional protocols and expectations set out for royals. In so doing, he keeps other members of his family, including Kate Middleton and Queen Camilla, further under the magnifying glass. More importantly, their different positions and responses to Harry's choices became absolutely pivotal in understanding the root causes of the family discord. Harry's public disclosures of his experiences and disgruntlements with the way things really were have added a new layer of complexity to the royal drama. If Harry has painted a picture of dysfunction and discontent with the monarchy, how have its activities and strategies been framed for those deeply invested in it? Answers to this question say much about the underlying tensions that drive the ongoing clash between Kate and Camilla. Besides that, there is also the mighty media, which has been defining Harry's role in family conflict. The sensational way he quit and gave interviews has kept him in the media constantly being termed as a symbol of rebellion against the conventions of the monarchy. Royals, um, Prince Harry wants a way in from the cold, apparently, according to the reports, he's been contacting friends. This usurps the way Kate and Camilla have been projected and further complicates their interactions, along with the wider royal narrative. The attention that Harry has received from media sources has amplified the stakes of their personal problems as the remaining members are under additional scrutiny. This has further been compounded by shifting loyalties and allegiances within the family. The remaining members have to work out an ever-changing landscape of royal duty and public expectation, with Prince Harry taking steps to distance himself from the monarchy. This realignment has created a sort of vacuum that has created more competition, tension, and even higher stakes within the family, including the one between Kate Middleton and Queen Camilla. In many ways, this struggle for influence and recognition, which they have embarked on, is just a representation of the broader uncertainties facing the monarchy. One cannot understand the full depth of conflict between Kate Middleton and Queen Camilla without considering the mammoth changes brought about by Prince Harry's actions and utterances. His departure and the aftermath of it have led the way for an earth-shattering realignment of roles and relationships throughout the royal entourage, a harbinger to the present animosity between the Duchess and the Queen Consort. The game of rivalry between them is spurred distinctly by the choices of Harry. Strategic Silence of Kate Middleton In the face of scandal, 
As tensions between Kate Middleton and Queen Camilla mount, the most curious part of this drama involves Kate Middleton's carefully calculated silence. The more frenzied the public and media become over the conflict between the women, the more Kate has to say with her restraint. She has made her silence an asset in dealing with her public image, positioning herself within the changing dynamics of the royal family. Kate's refusal to engage directly in the controversy exudes a certain effort of calculation. It is part of a broader strategy on her part not to add fuel to the fire. And by staying away from the limelight, she keeps her composure and does not enter into a highly mediatized confrontation. In that way, she is still in control of the story and focuses her attention on her reign rather than getting involved in her long-standing fight with Camilla. How could that strategic silence affect the way people perceive her stance and position in the royal family? Besides, Kate's silence is an act of passive resistance. The Princess of Wales was spotted near her home on Saturday, according to the Sun's Matt Wilkinson. Which deprives her enemies of further munition and stops speculation. She doesn't respond to provocations or public inquiries. Therefore, she shifts attention from herself to higher concerns. This move helps lower the probability of an escalated conflict while continuing to hold the media's attention to the internal problems of the royal family rather than her personal actions. Therefore, her move underlines a sophisticated understanding of the media dynamic and public relations. In addition, Kate's silence is a foil to Queen Camilla's more engaged presence in the public domain. While Camilla has made numerous public appearances and statements that have fanned the continuing drama, Kate's restraint speaks volumes about another strategy, one of calm and calculated responses versus public confrontation. This difference speaks not only to their personal styles, but also to how their actions are interpreted within the context of the broader narrative for the royal family. Therefore, the strategic silence of Kate Middleton in this controversy is more than an absence of comment. It's a deliberate tactic through which she can navigate the turbulent waters of royal conflict. By choosing to remain silent, she controls her public image without engaging in open confrontation that might define her role within this unfolding drama of the royals. As events continue to unfold, her continued restraint seems likely to be at the heart of the story and to impact how the royal family embarks on addressing the challenges it faces. Queen Camilla's struggle, meeting the demands of royalty. Picking up the mantle from Kate Middleton's strategic silence, Queen Camilla's struggles are rather conspicuous in relation to the overall expectations from her as the Queen Consort. Prince Charles' wife, Camilla, to take the title of Queen Consort. That requires not only personal resilience, but also a delicate balance of tradition and modernity in the role Camilla plays within the institution. The pressure put on her by the public is tugging at her resistance and placing her struggle in the very center of the continuing royal narrative, showing just how complex her position really is. End. Her efforts to break free into an independent, honored place within the monarchy are often hindered because of scrutiny from the public eye and historical comparisons. The weight of Queen Elizabeth II's legacy, entwined with her own vision regarding the monarchy, has been quite a balancing act. And if that were not enough, public expectations for Camilla, her history and present role make it even more intense in terms of pressure. What are some of the other challenges Camilla faces in trying to recast her role within the royal family? The simmering battle with Kate Middleton further complicates matters for Camilla. The media's framing of their dispute not only affects Camilla's public image, but also shapes her performance of her royal duties. In these publicly watched public fights, the humanly desire to keep the public perception in good stead without any dent to personal dignity is becoming increasingly difficult. Camilla tries to serve as best she can, but her relations with Kate and the wider royal family keep being in a flux. At the same time, Camilla has to also balance her experiences with the public view of her role. She will have to strike a balance between her own ambitions and those placed upon her by institutions. That makes her journey quite rocky. All this is accentuated by continuous scrutiny and media pressure, which demands that Camilla constantly adjusts and responds to the evolving expectations. These are demands that will finally define her legacy in the monarchy. Overall, 
Queen Camilla's difficulties in managing royal expectations depict more relevant complexities of her role as queen consort. Her attempt to juggle private difficulties with her public responsibilities underpins the position's trappings within the immediate royal family. As she continues to navigate the pressures that come with it, her journey continues to be an important component of the ongoing royal story, one that determines how she will be perceived within and beyond the royal circle. The public and media frenzy. How the royal rift captivates the world. The moment Queen Camilla started to battle the prophecy of being a royal wife, the pressure of public and media frenzy eclipsed expectations. A media circus has erupted around the full-blown royal split between Kate Middleton and Queen Camilla, sending shockwaves across the globe. This fascination with the royal drama took unprecedented proportions as journalists and reporters dug deep into every nuance of the disagreement. This mirrored the more extensive public intrigue into the inner ways of the British monarchy. Every headline, sensationalistic or analytical, continued to add to a story that was so captivating to the audiences while polarizing them. Interpretation of the conflict varies from melodramatic representation to profound analysis, and this once again confirms that the media is one of the significant channels that shape public opinion. Tonight, we've got an in-depth look at his relationship with Queen Camilla. Back when she was Mrs. Parker Bowles, her affair with the then prince was seen as scandalous by both public and press. Why does such hype prevail over a few personal disagreements between members of the royal family? In the case of the royal feud, the public's interest is stirred by the wider consequences that go with the conflict. The media do not strictly limit their coverage to the princes, but rather look upon what seems to be the effects on the monarchy as a whole. As the drama unfolds, audiences are not just following personal dynamics, but are considering the future of the royal institution. The feud serves as a window through which to assess the health and stability of the monarchy. How does this very intriguing public fascination with this dispute shape their views regarding the monarchy's future? More importantly, though, this continued coverage really serves to point out the very simple fact that it is the media that have turned the royal drama into a seemingly high-stakes game. Each development promises a different plot in the story, with angles that were lost in the build-up. With every new angle, the audience keeps updating itself about recent events. Depiction of Kate Middleton and Queen Camilla's conflict is gauged through the level of media attention along with a shifting tide of public opinion. The non-stop news coverage causes the narrative to shift with every headline. The fluidity of the news coverage is indicative of the ever-altering context within which the people's interest in regard to the monarchy is framed. Arguably, the royal feud has grown beyond just a family squabble to an international event. The role media has played, as well as the public response it drives, makes the feud between Harry and William material for more sweeping implications on how people view the monarchy and its future. And so, all eyes shall remain on any excruciating bend and twist this high-profile disagreement takes. Diverging public opinion. Kate as a beacon of modernization versus Camilla's resilience. Public opinion strongly dichotomized over Kate Middleton being a beacon of modernization, with Queen Camilla representing resilience. The media frenzy fueled all speculation continuously. As this royal saga continues to unfold, these divergent perceptions provide some context in the way the public interprets both of their roles and character traits. On one hand, Kate Middleton often represents modernization inside the British monarchy. Her image as Princess of Wales is another mark with modernity, in tune with the most contemporary feelings. Buckingham Palace has just released a new photo and update about Catherine, the Princess of Wales. Supporters see this in her as a progressive force that brings freshness and accessibility to the stuffy, arcane nature of royal duty. Her work on such intense issues places her, at the same time, in stride with today's social interests and has branded her as very progressive, yet relatable. How do these modernizing efforts shape public view of Kate amidst the continuous royal drama? Queen Camilla, meanwhile, is seen as strong in the face of adversity. The journey that has taken her into the heart of the royal family has been marred by personal and public tests. 
shaping her persona as steadfast and unwavering. Indeed, the test of whether Camilla can navigate the rough waters of royal life with grace can bring her credit from those who value her commitment to her role. This is viewed as testimony to her strength and devotion in opposition to the modernization efforts espoused by Kate. How does this resilient Camilla figure into the public's view of her role within the monarchy? Conversely, this polarized view of the two women reflects broader themes in the tradition versus progress debate within the monarchy. Where Kate is celebrated as a figure of contemporary traditions within the royal family, Camilla is seen as representing practices and values that are more in line with time-honored norms. This only furthers the dichotomy in terms of how each woman is received by her public, depending on whether she captured the zeitgeist and was more contemporary or somehow continued in the vein of tradition toward public sentiment. The debate is ongoing, indicating the difficulty of this evolving picture for the public of the royal family and the many tributaries that go into such constructions. In all, the divergent public opinions about Kate Middleton and Queen Camilla reflect the greater themes of modernization and resilience within the monarchy. As these opposing stories continue to evolve, so does public interest. An interest as multidimensional as the lives of royals, wherein the dynamics of popularity are in constant flux. The long-term impact. How the rift could shape the future of the monarchy. If the royal rift between Kate Middleton and Queen Camilla grabs headlines, Camilla brought 20 Parker Bowleses to the coronation, there were four Middletons. And in that moment, it was absolutely noticeable to those people who'd been excluded from the coronation that nobody, let alone Kate, curtsied to Queen Camilla. Its possible long-term effect on the British monarchy cannot be underestimated. The very personal, almost ceaseless battle between these two popular leading ladies has debated fury regarding how such internal wars might influence the future trajectory of the royal family. But this current divide between Kate and Camilla has the power to infect not only their personal positions, but even the very face and inner workings of the monarchy. This is because both women symbolize different parts of the royal family. One, Kate, with its modernizing force, the other, Camilla, with its resilient conservatism. In view of this, the conflict between them speaks of deeper issues within the institution itself. This rift therefore heralds questions about how the monarchy will adapt to changing public expectations and internal pressures for change. Might this rift actually serve to cajole the monarchy into further rethinking its method of navigating tradition and modernization. Beyond this, the implications of this conflict extend to the institutional level. There are wider institutional implications in that, if this leaves it with such open divisions, then it will be difficult for it to present a united front. This continuous dispute could nurture discussions on the relevance and effectiveness of the monarchy in serving society in the modern world. For instance, is the royal family expected to recalibrate roles and responsibilities in such a way that allows them to understand and take into consideration public sentiments and expectations? Reform or adjustment may be highlighted more and more depending on how the rupture continues to affect cohesion and public perception. The media's portrayal of the rift has helped to shape public opinion about the future of the monarchy. Sensationalist headlines and mixed messages fuel public discussion, potentially influencing how the monarchy will be viewed in the UK and abroad. But almost half of those asked who are from ethnic minority backgrounds believe the royal family has a problem with race and diversity. How does continued media coverage of internal royal disputes impact the monarchy's ability to foster a positive public perception? The question then, is how the media magnifies and plays out such disagreements, which could raise reputational issues for the monarchy and impact on the monarchy's ability to carry out its role effectively. This emerging fault line might also impact on succession planning and the roles of developing royals. It is in these stormy waters that the monarchy is trying to plot its course, and this requires the dynamics between established figures like Kate and Camilla to have a bearing on the preparation and positioning of future generations that may join the ranks. This encompasses how future generations of royals are being groomed to play their roles and meet public expectations. As events unfold further, 
the royal family edges closer to a crucial milestone in the history. How Kate Middleton and Queen Camilla will iron out their differences, or how such differences may ossify, may have a determining role in how the monarchy will fare in the future. This rift underlines a need for a strategic approach toward managing internal conflict and public relations if this monarchy is to be assured of its relevance and stability in the years ahead. If this royal rift really will have long-term effects, then it will go way beyond the personal disputes of the actors. It poses an enormous question for the monarchy on how it must balance the scales between tradition and modernity in the face of internal and external pressures. How the reconciliation of this conflict may be defined, or how it shall be managed, could actually define the future shape of the British royal family. That concludes our in-depth look into the deep crack that has appeared between Kate Middleton and Queen Camilla. We hope you enjoyed learning about this royal face-off as much as we did. How do you think this high-stakes battle will affect the future of the monarchy? Share your thoughts and predictions in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon for notifications on our latest videos. Thanks for watching.